This is a short video on how to create a blog using WordPress.com. Uh, if you haven't already got a WordPress.com account, you'll have to get one. I've already got one, so I'm just going to sign in. It's very straightforward. If I go to these are these are sites that I subscribe to, but if I just go to my sites, if I want to change the theme, I can customize it here. So just to give you an example, if I wanted to change the change the color palette. Do it here. Save and publish. I can change the layout of this screen as well. More importantly, if I want to create a, a blog post, I go to add. So I give it a title. So if you've been in the studio, um, give it a title. Uh, you can either type or you can see the coding that goes on behind. So I'll just use visual. Uh, if I wanted to add a, a video, um, let's say I've created a video, I've been in the recording studio and I've been videoing the guys performing in the studio. And I could just, um, I can't actually add, upload it because you can't upload videos on a free plan. What you'd have to do is to upload it, say, to YouTube and then copy and paste the link. So I just copied and pasted the link and then it'll embed the video. So you can actually create quite media rich blog posts. I might want to talk about pre-production. Microphone choices and placements. I might want to include some pictures. So, which I can I can upload. I can actually add pictures from my library. Uh, these are just some ones that I've already got loaded. But you know, I mean, just if I wanted to show, say, microphone placements, I can resize, and I can talk about the microphones that I've used. etc etc so I can I can what else can I do up here uh, I can add documents I can add Im images but I can't add video on a free plan and I can't add audio so what I would have to do is as I've said is just to link through to say something like YouTube and just copy the link so really I need to when I'm working on my production project I need to be collecting as much media as possible so photos and pictures and my advice would be to make notes as you go um, so that when you actually come to piece it all together it makes it much easier for you to remember what actually happened so you can make voice recordings as well in your phone anything like that uh, and then we're using this to just to bring it all together. So if I now go to uh, preview, I can preview what I've done and see how it looks in my website. Uh, doesn't look very good because it's incomplete. Uh, and then when I've when I'm ready, I can publish. 
set date and time to publish so I could actually um, I could I suppose postpone publishing that uh, there's a drafts been saved automatically so if I was to leave that page um, there's a, a draft wherever that may be over here look so I can always come back to it um, and complete it I can um, you know, I can just sort of put a sticky on it as well so I can uh, keep an eye on it so try to make them as media rich as possible as informative as possible um, you could have posts for in the studio you could also have posts for live sound stuff um, and anything else really you deem relevant I mean if you're going into the uh, Beamer's rehearsals you might want to document that um, so just try and document it as, as much as possible um, I guess I'm looking for a minimum of uh, one post per session really so that's a per week so if you're doing recording in the morning and live sound in the afternoon then I would expect you to make two posts on uh, what you did during that those uh, recessions uh, just for your information as well you can get if I just log out uh, you can get a free app for WordPress uh, I think you might be you might find you might be able to uh, post directly from your phone personally I think it's better to collect the information and then do it on a desktop but it, it's up to you really